If the holiday season and social gatherings didn't push people to get vaccinated, a record number of cases may be doing just that. Community vaccination sites are seeing some of their busiest days ever in the new year. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us live where one is going on right now. Brittany. Well, Shannon, I'm at the West End Community Clinic in Providence here where dozens of people are getting vaccinated this evening. The site is open until 6.30, but the people inside tell me that all of the appointments are booked. From Taunton Ave to Buckland Street, Rhode Islanders line up to get a shot. Community vaccination clinics continue to see high demand in the new year as cases skyrocket. We saw an increase in, you know, people getting vaccinated. Did uh, see a huge difference. It has gotten very busy. The health department says the Omicron variant now makes up close to half of cases in Rhode Island. Health officials say the best defense is the vaccine. Providence hosting two community clinics today at the Children's Museum and West End Community Clinic. The Buckland Street site expects to give 50 shots and says they offer a comfortable and accessible space for the community. People have known of this. Sense for a very long time and the services that we provide the kindness from you know that they see in our staff so it's always been a welcoming center in neighboring East Providence a larger scale operation at a former grocery store vaccinates a thousand people a day among those today Amanda mattress today we got the boosters the Coventry resident works at the East Providence Senior Center and tells me it goes beyond protecting herself protecting the community as well um, in my case I work with seniors over at the Senior Center, um, so that could be particularly a vulnerable population to work with as far as sicknesses and whatnot. So I just wanted to make sure everyone, including myself and the folks that I work with, are safe. In this afternoon, the state announced two COVID vaccination clinics for tomorrow. One is in Wakefield at South Road Elementary, the other happening in East Providence at the Gordon School. We're live tonight in Providence for East Shaper 12 News. Tonight, the Department of Health says the number of Omicron COVID cases they've detected in Rhode Island has more than tripled now in the last week. Rhode Island is still seeing thousands of new cases a day. The health department reports more than 4,800 from yesterday's 26,000 tests and 18.5% positivity rate. Unfortunately, another 11 people have died. The number of people in the hospital is back above 400 for the first time since last January, though they're still running behind the number of hospitalizations on this date last year. And while the health department reports a growing number of breakthrough infections, the data shows case rates are two and a half times higher for people who are not vaccinated. So the state is running community vaccination clinics to get out more shots and boosters. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us live from one of those clinics in Providence. Brittany. Well, Mike Shannon, the state has six community vaccination clinics running today across the state, including one here in Providence at the West End Community Center. This site is open until 6.30 p.m. It did originally open at 3.30, and people inside tell me they expect to vaccinate 50 people here today. The Omicron variant and seven great-grandchildren. It's the reasons Alice Gubby tells me she got her booster shot today. I want to continue seeing my grandchildren, and without the shots, I wouldn't be able to, or I certainly wouldn't do it because of the way things are. According to the CDC, Omicron makes up around 95% of new cases in the United States. The Rhode Island Health Department says the variant is responsible for around 45% of cases. Being in a vulnerable population, the 89-year-old East Providence resident is hoping this, like many others. I'm hoping that this is coming to an end. And I'll do everything I can to help do on that. So I just hope that this will end very soon. The state held community vaccination clinics in Little Compton, Pawtucket, East Providence, and Providence today. In East Providence, a former grocery store now offers a space to vaccinate a thousand people a day. The site offers Moderna and Pfizer by appointment or walk-ins. The city's fire department helps run the site. Captain John Potvin tells me most people are getting boosters, but they are also seeing a lot of initial shots. What we're seeing out in the streets when we're responding to calls is a lot more people that are COVID positive. There are a lot of people that are nervous and that they are scared. Whatever is being transmitted right now is definitely transmitting more readily. 
And the state announced this afternoon two COVID vaccination clinics at schools in the state tomorrow. That's going to be one in Wakefield, the other in East Providence. For more details, you can check our website at WPRI.com. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.